Hey what's up guys, Tektine here and I am back again with a brand new video. So before I begin this video, as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching this one. If you enjoy my content, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to like this video on the way, go ahead and do so. I really greatly appreciate it. Also, if you want to follow me on my other social media, I'll leave them linked below. But with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started with today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to be actually comparing the Google Pixel 3, Google's flagship, against a budget phone which is arguably one of my favorite budget phones of this year and it is the LG Stylo 4 so yeah let's just go ahead and get started so I'm pretty sure uh, you heard of the Google Pixel 3 and if you watch my channel you must definitely know what the Stylo 4 is but let's start by talking about the design of the Pixel 3 so on the front you have your 5.5 inch 1080p display and it does support that 18 by 9 aspect ratio you also have your dual 8 megapixel sensors one is a standard uh, 8 megapixel camera and the other one is a wide angle also at the top and bottom you do have your stereo front facing speakers which are arguably one of the best speakers on any phone out right now so yeah okay and on the right hand side you really don't have anything because they really they put both the power as well as the volume up on the left hand side the front you have your 5.5 inch 1080p display and it does support that 18 by 9 aspect ratio you also have your dual 8 megapixel sensors one is a standard uh, 8 megapixel camera and the other one is a wide angle also at the top and bottom you do have your stereo front facing speakers which are arguably one of the best speakers on any phone out right now so yeah okay and on the right hand side you really don't have anything because they really they put both the power as well as the volume up on the left hand side and they feel good they do have kind of they do kind of so the so the power button and the volume up and down they have kind of resistance to them and they feel really good and tactile and on the back you have this special material that google uses so this kind of soft touch um, coating and it is it, the whole phone is made out of glass but it does have this soft touch coating it, and um in durability it's not really the most durable thing out there it scratches pretty easily so if you get this phone i would definitely recommend the case on it immediately and on the top you do have this kind of a glossy glass and also you have your 12 megapixel camera and your led flash as well as a microphone and again this camera is one of the best cameras that i have personally ever used on a smartphone and i'm pretty sure if you know um if you heard of the pixel you know how the camera is and you also have your fingerprint sensor which is pretty fast and it's pretty nice to see that it's still there now on the bottom you do have your usb-c and it doesn't and it does really support some quick fast charging and it does have wireless charging in it too now there is no headphone jack and i guess you just gotta get used to that flagships lose the headphone jack but budget phones keep them i guess that's just where we at in 2018 okay so that's really it for the design of the uh, google pixel 3 now the lg stylo 4 shares a lot of similar you know, a lot of similarities in design so first up you have you still have the 18 by 9 aspect ratio it is a 6.2 inch 1080p display and it looks pretty good they both look good but the uh, Pixel 3 really uh, looks way better since it does use uh, OLED technology versus the IPS display on the Stylo 4. So in brightness, colors, it just looks better to my eye. And yeah, so the Pixel 3 display is definitely better. But the Stylo 4's display is really still a really good display. So yeah, one of the problems that I do have with the display though is that it doesn't really get as bright outdoors. But yeah. So it's a pretty good display overall, it just doesn't compete with the, Pixel, uh, with the Pixel 3's AMOLED display. So you also have your 5 megapixel wide angle lens, now it, it, I'll talk about the camera in a, little, in a little bit, you also have your earpiece, and on the right hand side you do have your power button, and on the left hand side you have your volume up and down, and on the back you have your fingerprint sensor, your 13 megapixel camera with the LED flash, and it is made out of plastic it, they do they do a really good job resembling glass but it is still plastic and the, and the sides are made out of metal which is kind of uh, nice to see on a budget phone that costs less than two hundred dollars so yeah and on the bottom you have your USB-C you have your speaker your stylus as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so yeah like I said budget phones keep the headphone jack flagships get rid of them that's just where we at okay so we talked about the design now let me discuss the specs a little bit so the pixel 3 uses a snapdragon 845 
uh, four gigabytes of RAM. Really, that's that's just standard with flagships. Now, a lot of people did complain that since this is a flagship and it is at $800 phone that it should have used at least six, giga six gigabytes or eight gigabytes of RAM. But to me, four gigabytes of RAM is plenty for this phone. Now, that's just for my usage. If you really if you're really a hardcore multitasker then yeah you might need a little bit more but for my usage it's perfectly fine now the Stylo 4 only has two gigabytes of ram it's decent it's not as good as four gigabytes but it's definitely still usable so let's do a quick day-to-day -day tasks so for example the phone app okay definitely faster on the pixel 3 the messaging app faster on the pixel 3 all right, let's do Google Chrome, three, two, one. Okay, faster on the Pixel 3. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of expected too. Again, this is an $800 phone. It is a flagship versus a budget sub $200 phone. So it's really, kinda, it's really, I can um, so it's really expected that this phone would beat it. Actually, I would have, I would have been disappointed if it didn't. Now, there are, there are some small features that this phone has that the LG Style of 4 doesn't have. So for example, the squeeze function. So squeeze to uh, launch Google Assistant. Now, okay, let's turn it off. So this, I didn't think it would be a useful feature, but I found myself using it a lot more. I found myself using Google Assistant more than I usually do. So that's, so that's pretty cool. Um, now, on here you have your stylus, which I don't really use a lot. And that's just me, I mean, the first week, yeah, I mean, you use it, but then as time goes on, for me personally, I kind of forgot that it was even there. But it is there, and it does have useful functions, they're just not personally for me. So yeah, and also the Google Pixel 3 has the, um, so, on the so on the fingerprint sensor, you can slide your finger down and it will pull, it, uh, pull down the notifications, so that's pretty cool. And that's pretty useful to me. And one benefit of having the Pixel 3 over the Style of 4 is that in the Pixel 3, you will, you will always get the latest um, Android updates. I don't know how long the Style of 4 will receive updates for. That's just only time will tell. But I can tell you for sure that this is the Google. This is a Google phone. So of course this will be first in line for uh, software updates. Okay. So the and the next thing that i want to talk about is the speaker and the speaker difference now the speaker quality before i even test them out is better on the pixel 3 and it also beats out most of flagships i think it comes I, I would say it's definitely top three it's debatable if it's the best or not to me personally from um the phones that i use it is the best speaker in my opinion but yeah so let's do a speaker test okay so uh they both kind of support this view of um the 18 by 9 aspect ratio view so that's pretty cool so you can zoom in and get the full immersed experience now the bezels the top and bottom bezels just real quick are smaller on the style of 4 than they are on the uh google pixel 3 so yeah okay turn the volume up as loud as it can go three two one Okay, pixel 3, so as loud as it can go, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so I think I think it's safe to say that the Pixel 3 won this round, but again, you gotta understand that this is a $200 phone versus a $800 phone. You would you'd, you'd have to expect that this phone would win. The really the whole point of this comparison is to show you how far budget phones have come to flagships. So there are a couple of things that really set these two phones apart, and here here's what they are. So first up is the display. The display on the Pixel 3 is way better from the AMOLED screen to the brightness to the colors and uh, overall a better display. 
Whereas the style of Wars display is still good, it's just not, not as good as the Pixel 3. The second thing is the camera. And I did a review on this one and I did a really extensive camera comparison, uh, a camera test, so I'll leave a link below. And on the, for the Pixel 3, I'm working hard um, to get a really extensive review of the camera. But I'll leave my Instagram below and I took all my pictures on there. Um, are take, uh, so a lot of my pictures have been taken with the Pixel 3, so if you want to see sample photos, you can go there. Okay, but I can tell you the Pixel 3, but the Pixel 3 out, out beats a lot of flag, well most flag, actually no, the Pixel 3 beats all flagships, and that's just Google's color science and their image processing. Google Pixel 3 wins that camera by a long shot. So durability, like I said before, and I'm pretty sure guys, uh, I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure if you guys follow tech news, you would know that the Pixel 3 back scratches really easily, and some scratches you can clean them off. Some once once it's done, it's done, it's scratched. Your $800 phones is ruined. Whereas the Style 4, yeah, it's made out of plastic. But it feels really, it feels like a premium phone. So definitely when it comes to design, now the Stylo 4 is more durable and the reason I say that is, yeah, it's made out of plastic, but it does have, it does have a premium feel to it and that's really thanks to the metal sides. And yeah, so it is more durable. Plastic, it catch, I mean, it's gonna catch a lot of fingerprint. I also would recommend the case on it, but it doesn't scratch as easily as the style uh, as the Google Pixel 3 and you gotta remember this is a sub $200 phone versus an $800 phone so keep that in mind now the other thing that I said that the style 4 excels at is the well it's kind of a toss-up because the battery life is bigger and it does last a little bit longer on the um, style 4 but and yeah it does support quick charge but it's not as fast as uh, charging as the uh, Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 also supports uh, wireless, fast wireless, <coughs> and the Pixel 3 also supports fast wireless charging. So yeah, but definitely the battery life is more, uh, is a little, is better on the Stylo 4. Again, I'm not saying that the Pixel, that the Stylo 4 is better than the Pixel 3 because it, it really not. It's it's really not. The Pixel 3 beats it in more, in a lot of categories, and this is the best Android phone out right now that you can buy. From the camera to um, to the speakers to the display, the display. I mean, some people would say that Samsung is better, uh, just because it is brighter. But the Google Pixel 3, the Google Pixel, uh, the Google Pixel 3's display is just as good, and it's hard to really tell the difference between those two. Enjoyed this comparison. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We're at 7,000 subscribers when we're getting closer to that 10,000 subscriber mark point. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.